Hello everyone and welcome to Genshin Academy. With the Genshin Impact 3.0 release comes Sumeru, and with Sumeru come Dandro Element, and with Dandro Element come three major reactions being introduced in Genshin Impact, which are Burning, Bloom, and Quicken. As the game doesn't explain these reactions very well, in today's video we're going to give a very brief overview, or like an ELI5, or like a Razor language explanation, about what are these reactions, what does this reaction do, and how to trigger them. That being said, as always, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Starting off with Burning, you can trigger Burning by applying Dandro and Pirate onto the same enemy, in which case they will receive the burning status. An enemy inflicted with burning status will periodically do pyro damage onto themselves as well as apply pyro onto themselves and their nearby adjacent enemies. You can then use the pyro applied onto themselves to further trigger reaction like an overload or something like that. But do know that triggering too much reaction will extinguish the burning status as it will completely wipe out the pyro aura. You can sustain the burning status onto an enemy by applying more dandro periodically. However, do know that once the burning status have been extinguished, you have to reignite the burning status by once again applying Danjo and Pyro onto the same enemy. The Quicken reaction can be triggered when you apply Danjo and Electro onto the same enemy, in which case they will get infected with the Quicken status, and your further Electro applying attack or your Danjo applying attack will get a bonus damage dealt, similar to how other amplifying reactions work like Vaporize or Melt. The biggest difference here is how the damage is actually calculated. Amplifying reaction like Vaporize or Melt can also be called multiplicative reaction where they multiply your final damage by a certain amount based off your elemental mastery. However, in this case, Quicken actually trigger Aggravate or Spread which are additive reaction. They increase your base damage based off your portion of your elemental mastery and then finally multiply by your other stat like damage percent and so it pretty much just differ in terms of the actual damage calculation. But in simple terms, they both just amplify your damage which is the they both consider amplifying damage reaction. The Quicken status pretty much behave like a dandro aura where it will react with other elements. For example, applying a hydro application onto an enemy with Quicken will trigger Bloom and therefore potentially removing your Quicken status and applying Pyro onto a Quicken enemy will trigger Burning, once again potentially removing your Quicken status. Do you know that in order to refresh your Quicken status though, you cannot just apply Electro because Quicken actually does not react with Electro and so what you have to do in order to refresh your Quicken status is to apply both Electro and Dandro once again. Finally, Bloom. The Bloom reaction can be triggered by applying Dandro and Hydro onto the same enemy, in which case a small seed will be created onto the ground. The seed here will explode after 6 seconds and will do Dandro damage to your enemy but will also do damage to yourself. All the Bloom reaction will do a static amount of damage based off your elemental mastery and it's pretty much identical to other transformative reaction like Overload. You can increase the effect including the damage of the seed by then applying a third element on top which is either Pyro or Electro which are what people refer to as Burgeon or Hyper Bloom reaction. Applying a Pyro application onto the seed will trigger a Burgeon reaction, in which case the seed explosion damage will be increased dramatically. On the other hand, applying the Electro reaction onto the seed will trigger what's known as a Hyper Bloom, in which case while the seed damage will also dramatically increase, the effect radius will dramatically decrease. However, the bright side is that it no longer self damage you as well. Seed on the field at a time and only two seeds can damage the enemy at a time. Furthermore are that these seeds can be picked up by any mode units such as Sucrose, Fancy, or Kazu, similar to Klee Bomb. And with that being said, that is a very basic overview about all the brand new Danjo reaction. Hopefully this video helped you give a idea about what the Danjo reaction do. For more information about how to actually use these in combat, I heavily suggest you to either visit the Kachimbing Danjo guy, or you can simply wait for a further update on this channel where we'll be talking about how good is Danjo for the meta. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video taught you the basic basic about dangerous reaction if you're confused what they do and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time